I love studying how really brilliant people have produced their work. When I was in college, I used to work in a library that had collections of early letters and manuscripts from different brilliant authors and politicians. And I always found it so inspiring to look at the work that they had been producing and realize that they were just people like me. They had the same number of hours in a day, and yet with those hours, they managed to do something really meaningful. And I found that really inspiring. And recently I was struck by what I thought was a kind of insightful revelation, although it's a little bit obvious that I want to talk about further. And that insight is this. Throughout human history, a majority of the great works that have ever been produced were produced with pretty basic tools. But today, it seems that we optimize around making tools more complicated and more efficient, which might actually be counter to producing great work. Before I get into this further, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Fam Club. Fam Club is a new mobile app that lets you pay to consume premium content that is produced by creators. It's focused on affordable one-off transactions, so you're not paying monthly to get access to content and you're not paying a huge premium for content that you could get for free elsewhere. So I put together a 12 video series. The videos are one to two minutes each. It's talking about different productivity techniques, things that I've talked about extensively on this channel before, but collected them for the first time in kind of one orderly series. And you can buy it for literally $1. And a portion of those proceeds just comes back to me. If it sounds interesting to you, there's a link in my bio that you can check out where you can purchase that series, watch those videos. Again, it's a $1 transaction. You get those videos forever. You can watch them whenever you want. And it's a cool way to support the channel. I first started thinking about this idea at a museum exhibit that had an Octavia Butler manuscript. Now, Octavia Butler is one of my favorite authors. I, I really love her work. And it was really fascinating for me to see this typewritten manuscript that she had crossed certain words out on, made some notes in the margin. I, I thought it was really cool. And what I realized is here's someone who I look up to, a prolific creative who created work that has influenced the world. And they're working in a way completely different from how I work. Most of the books that influenced me were written either by hand or on a typewriter. Or in some cases, they were dictated. Dostoevsky dictated his books to stenographers. And of course, these were the tools that were available to authors at the time. But they hold something in common and something that's different from the tools that we default to today. And that is that they were extremely focused. Though you might not be able to write by hand as fast as you could type on a computer, the reality is that a computer has many distractions on it. Of course, you have notifications, emails, you can tab out to Twitter whenever you want. You just can't do that with pen and paper. What I think is interesting though, is that we default to using a computer because it's just more efficient. We can output words more quickly, so it must be better, right? But what I realized recently is that this is actually kind of backwards. Efficiency is not the bottleneck to creating great work. A great author is generally not limited by their typing speed. They are limited by their ability to produce new ideas, great ideas. And distraction is much more of a limiting factor than typing speed. The difference between me and a great author is not that the great author can type a lot faster than me, put words on paper a lot faster than me. It's that they have better ideas. There's a certain laziness in optimizing around efficiency that I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. If you were to produce equivalent work writing by hand and writing on a computer, well, you should just write on the computer, of course, because it's gonna be a lot faster and a lot less messy and you're gonna waste less paper. But that's a big if. Is the quality of the work that you produce on a computer just as good as the quality of the work that you would produce by hand or on a typewriter or some other medium that has less interruption? Digital tools are really good at making us feel busy. When I'm on my computer, I can be feeling like I'm productive, like I'm doing work and you know my day is filled, but if I'm bouncing between emails and replying to things and trying to also do some creative work and some technical work, it, it can be really overwhelming and I end up not getting any meaningful work done. One thing that I've long noticed about myself is that I do some of my best work when I'm on airplanes. And it's not just me, this is a pretty common phenomenon. I've talked about it with a bunch of friends, I've read articles about this. You're able to use your most efficient tools in a setting where there is no distraction. I can type on my laptop, but there will be no notifications even possible. I can't tab out to Twitter even if I wanted to. So I'm very limited on the distractions and therefore I'm able to use that efficiency in a productive way. And so I think that this is important as you think about the work that you're doing, understanding actually how high risk, high reward using modern tools can be. So what does this mean actionably? 
I think the first thing is understanding how your tools might influence your outcomes and questioning whether or not that's aligned with what it is that you actually want. If your goal is just to write a blog post pretty fast, then sure, writing on your computer and having notifications on might not be a big deal. But if your goal is to produce great original creative work, well then your tools might be working counter to what it is that you're trying to do. Something that I've been trying to work out is why I have this resistance to using less efficient tools when it comes to producing work. For some reason, it feels really wrong for me to write by hand when I could type. And maybe that's just what I'm used to and what I've adapted to. I mean, I can't remember the last time that I actually sat down for hours with just a pen and paper and wrote or worked on something like that. So I'm gonna experiment with this. I'm gonna kind of embrace that discomfort. The first thing that I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try actually creating airplane mode hours where I'm completely disconnected, but I'm still using efficient tools like my computer. The second thing that I'm gonna try is actually just going fully offline, using inefficient tools like pen and paper and seeing how that influences the quality of the work that I produce and whether or not it's worth the efficiency trade-off. The end result here might just be that I go back to using my computer all the time. I'm actually fully open to that possibility, but I think it's an important question to ask, especially when looking at all of the people who I admire, looking at how they created their work, and then looking at how I create my work and realizing that it's completely different. There's something to test there and I'm excited to do it. I wish that I had something more concrete to share with you. This is what you should do or what you shouldn't do. But really what I'm trying to do here is just open your eyes to something that I realized that is pretty obvious in retrospect, but wasn't obvious to me until I started to think about it in depth. Maybe it was obvious to you and this video is a waste of your time and if so, I apologize. But if not, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you again soon.